so I'm going to give it a couple of minutes before I start because then because I started a minute earlier so let me go and get everyone in first how has your week been because today is the first of October and October is always such an interesting month because you know we are on to doing a lot of great things all right I'm going to do at everyone oops Perfect. So I'm going to give it a few minutes. I don't see anyone yet. Oops. All right. So today's topic is very interesting. I also have some ah, sage burning. You know, this time I kind of like burned the sage like beforehand. So you can see. So until more of you all join me, I'll just be burning some sage. <laughs> So, I see five of you all now. Wow. So, show me you guys are here. Say your hi's and hellos. Hi, Annette. So good to see you. So, I'm just saging because we are starting October and I thought, you know, let's just sage the room. <laughs> all right. Hello, Sheena. Good to see you. Hello, Moni. Hi, Nimit. Again, Annette, thank you so much for the tip. You sent it like 48 hours before my show. So you'll be the first one I channeled for today, followed by my and, uh, and the others. So again, thank you all for your tips. And I really, really appreciate them because I'm able to spend more time to create content. I've also introduced a brand new service called the... 3d mind booster sessions and you guys should check that out you can buy it as 10 sessions or just one sessions but they really really work with you coping with your 3d mind whilst being on a twin flame journey so i'll highly recommend that so let me say all the hellos hi my thank you so much for your tip and hello annette thank you so much for the tip hello sheena hello moni Hi, Nimith. Hi, Erin. Hi, Masha. Hi, Karen. And hi, Amy. So are you all excited for today's topic? Oh, thank you so much for your tip. Ah, Pang Lee, really. A.P. Wong. So, and Diana, thank you so much for your tip. And thank you so much, Rebecca. In fact, Diana is such a sweet message. For the amazing Master Cosmo, so blessed to have an amazing teacher, mentor, and friend. Unfortunately, I won't be able to join this morning. Oh, but you will be watching the replay. That's fantastic. Um, thank you, Shannon, for the tip. Thank you, Rachel, for your tip. And I love the angel number tips you guys send me. It's so amazing. And my thank you so much again. Just going in order so that I don't... And Q, thank you so much. All right, I'm going to do a very quick... Hi, Marion, so good to see you. Hi, Amy, so good to see you. So I'm going to do a very quick um, energy check-in because this full moon has been very interesting and hence that's why I posted that mini video about the moon, the harvest full moon. The harvest full moon is designed to actually make you pause for a moment and to reflect and analyze everything you have done so far. So it can be a very stressful period, especially with the lingering full moon energies. You may be feeling that, oh my, years have passed. I'm still not in union with my twin flame yet. What's happening with my life? Am I doing enough? Am I healing enough? What have I done wrong? What have I done right? So all of this may be just overwhelming your thoughts and your mind and your feelings. And you may be in a point whereby either you're fully surrendered or you are going through that period of what can I do better? Thank you so much, Marianne, for your tip. I really, really appreciate that. It's so generous and kind of you. And thank you. And thanks to all of you for your generous tips. You guys are amazing. And I really, really appreciate that. So as I was talking about the full moon energies, it's very, very, very crucial for October as well. Because we had it on right on the cusp, you know, last day of September and beginning of October. And it's very interesting because this full moon will be the last super moon of this year. Also, 
this is the moon where farmers start to harvest, start to plant their seeds. So that's why take a moment, take a moment to actually write down all of your desires, everything, anything. You want to manifest communication with your divine masculine. You want to manifest adventures with your divine masculine. You, you, even if you want to manifest an apology with your divine masculine, you could write that down too. And my advice to you would be to sleep on it, meaning read them, put it under your pillow, and then look at it again. And then after that, you can either... What you can do is you can put, you can have a jar, you know, like a wish jar and you can put in all your wishes. So in that way, when they manifest, you can just go back and say a little thank you and surrender it to the universe. Hi, Rebecca. So good to see you. And Rachel, so good to see you as well. So I'm just doing a very quick analysis on the full moon energies, which are crazily, crazily intense. And it's one of those full moons that kind of motivates you to start something new too. So I would say there'll be a group of you, like I had explained in my other video, that will be resting and relaxing and, and just taking a pause on everything. And then another group of you are just driven. Thank you so much, Amy, for the tip. <coughs> so as I was talking about that drive that you're feeling, that is so crucial because we are designed to create we are in this hi adriel so good to see you hi jen so good to see you we are as spiritual beings we are born to create to impact this simulation we are here to create change to raise the vibrations so in a very technical sense what actually happens is that when everyone so this is noetic science so when everyone starts thinking that the planet is going to ascend, we are going to likely ascend because everyone is so into manifesting that. So, and then when we vibrate higher, what magic happens is that manifestation becomes easier when you are in a vibration stream where there are no more obstacles. So when you all are vibrating in like, let's say 6D or 7D, you will notice that Earth is literally heaven because you're able to manifest everything. You're able to do so much and not feel like nothing is happening for you. Right now, the energies are fluctuating between 2D, which is fear, 3D, which is the physicality, the new world order, all of that, 4D, the mind that keeps protecting you, kind of, from... Uh, from not wishing too much and setting limitations. So there's a positive side to the mind and of course there's a shadow side to the mind too. And then 5D onwards, you are in a phase of surrender. Anything that comes your way, you just let it happen, right? 6D and 7D is what we are anchoring Earth to. So we're going to have a split timeline. One is the machine kingdom and then the other is the spiritual kingdom. So many of us here are heading towards that timeline. And of course, those who don't want to go through ascension, but want to experience the 3D way of life, the 2D way of life are going to be entrapped in the machine kingdom. And you know what's very interesting? All of this has already been written in our spiritual scriptures long, long, long time ago. And they are all coming to the surface right now because of the fact that we are experiencing the highest amount of star seeds at the moment. Also, a lot of you are awakening. So hence, that's why we call this period the Kali Yuga or Age of Conflict. And interesting because different scriptures have different notes on how long this period is going to last. But it's only during this time that you can truly enter the golden age. In other words, you are given all of the ingredients you need to attain enlightenment by God. But another thing about the age of conflict is that you have all this information available for you, but the problem is, what are you going to choose? What are you going to sign away? What, what freedoms are you going to give away to society? So for example, you can exist and not be tempted. You can exist in the 3D world and still not give your freedom away or sign your life away. And that's what's happening with social media cre creators. I mean, you know, of course, there's an ugly side to everything. But 
only at this time you truly have the freedom to create and get paid for it, right? Social media influences. But it's also this period where you truly have the flexibility of working as well. So people work for one reason, which is, you know, to pay the bills, to have a roof, to support their family members, to survive. And the traditional model was to you go to an eight to five job, you know, you bring home food to the table and then weekends you relax, you chill out with your friends, your family, and then the week continues again. And then once a year you take this seven or eight day luxurious vacation and keep reminiscing about it the whole year. So this was the old model. But the new model is if you are really, really, really tuned in, you realize that you're able to create anything that you desire in your life. Example, you want the latest iPhone. You are able to get a freelance opportunity where you're able to earn exactly the amount of money you need to be able to pay for the phone. And opportunities like that exist now. This wouldn't have been possible 30 years ago because you didn't have the internet. You didn't have e-commerce, right? So. In a sociological term, one of my favorite subjects when I did in college was sociology A and B. Part of my law school education, I could do these two electives. These were the only two electives that I could do outside of law. And one thing I learned is about modernization and about the different states of how society has been. So for a long time, society was adapting or adhering to um, solid modernity which means the values were solid, everything was solid, and you couldn't really move. So you had that hierarchy where you had the mother, the father, the kids, and you needed to do all of it in a solid way. And then slowly we shifted to liquid. So liquid uh, modernity was when things started to become a little more fluid, you know. You started to have um, thoughts, the age of enlightenment, people were more open about who they are. And right now we are approaching gaseous modernity. Everything is in air. And this is exactly quoted from Karl Marx's book. All that is solid is turning into air. And this is what we are experiencing, gaseous modernity. And at this state is where you can truly, truly create because all that you have within you are able to create. And this is what leads on to today's topic. Thank you so much, um, Rebecca, for your donation. And thank you so much, Stephanie, for your tip donation. Really, really appreciate that. Again, thank you so much, guys, for all your tips. I did a very quick, you know, I, I've been wanting to do this for a while, this whole topic about the age of conflict. And every time I try to record it on my TikTok, somehow um, it wouldn't record. So... <laughs> So yeah, so I'm glad that I was able to do this. And this actually connects to today's topic because we're going to talk about timeline jumping. You see, if we spoke about timeline jumping 30 years ago, people would probably think that we are people from the future, which we are, or we are crazy people. But right now, it is not impossible to think about concepts like this, teleportation, timeline jumping, because in our technological system, it's already existing. For example, we have a video game. All of this is possible. So you have to treat the current simulation we are in like a video game. And this is what people who are awakening are aware of and know about the ability to transform whatever they need or want with the ability to create. So when you have that creator mindset within you, you're able to manifest everything. And the dark side of manifestation is you can literally manifest everything. So example, you're fearing a situation. You're fearing that your boss is going to be mean to you. You're going to manifest that too. But you have to think in terms of vibration. If you're vibrating higher, everything you manifest is going to be positive, right? Because when you're vibrating higher, you're not going to think about manifesting disaster because you don't feel like you are in 5D, you're in 6D, you're in 7D. Why do you want to... But when you are in 2D, it is the dimension of fear. So what you're man so manifestation can happen in any dimension. But whether it's positive or negative depends on the dimension you are on. All right. So let me delve right into topic right now. 
So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me as well. I see 20 of you, so you guys must be really, really interested in this topic. So I'm going to talk about Twin Flame Timeline Portals. So every year during this period, there will be one major portal that is opening up specially for Twin Flames. And this portal starts to open up in August and September, but fully opens up in October. Hence, that's why it's a good time to check in where you are in terms of your journey. Because you may be able to jump forward or you may be able to jump backward. And again, in the eyes of consciousness, in the eyes of God, everything is part of the divine plan. So number one, when you feel closer to God, when you accept the world as a creation of God, and when you fully surrender to God, you will start to notice miracles. So this timeline portal that is open for twin flames is a gift by God for you to ascend many, many, many lifetimes of work. So, for example, you have been very, very devoted in your journey. You know, you have been doing everything that you need to heal, the catharsis, the detachment, truly letting go of your DM in 3D and surrendering to God and the unconditional love of God. You will be able to jump into a higher timeline. And when you jump into the higher timeline, the results will be union, union that you have been so desiring but when you're in that state, you will no longer have desire for union because you accept everything as God's will. But the downside of this portal is that if you have been arrogant, if you have been hurting other people, if you have been doing things that's damaging other people and yourself, this is also designed for a good cause. Because when you're not ready, even if you get into union, you're going to self-sabotage it. So you are going to jump a few timelines backward to restart the whole journey again. So example, right now it's forecasted that you are going to be in union in three months, but because you have been not doing your work, for example, then you're going to jump a few timelines back and then it's going to be three years. But for those <coughs> who have a projected timeline union of 10 years, but because you have been so devoted and you have been practicing compassion and and joy and service and being kind to yourself being kind to others that 10 months uh, that 10 years will become 10 months or even 10 days or even 10 weeks so this is how it works on a very technical way so that's why take this moment to reflect are you going to jump forwards or are you going to jump backwards so the next question is, how are you going to stay aligned and jump forward instead of backwards? The most important thing is that you surrender. You surrender to the fact that your journey is your journey alone. Stop comparing yourself. Stop being obsessed over the fact that all you want to do is unite and unite and unite. Because you are already in union with your divine masculine. No one's going to take that away from you. Always remember you are one soul projecting as divine feminine and divine masculine in this 3D earth. Right? And the moment you're able to see other timelines and other dimensions and when you're able to see the entire cosmos within this earth's existence, you will realize that this is just a speck, a moment of your soul's journey. And what you're experiencing, it's part of your experience on earth. So having said that, think about it this way. How do you stay aligned? So these are some practical tips. Really, guys, every one of us have this connection with God and we all have equal connection with God. We may all be unique beings, but remember, all of us have 100% connection with God. But it's up to us how much we want to connect to God, right? So the moment you completely surrender to God and you are in total alignment with the fact 
that this is what life is and you are living in a state of joy, which Osho always talks about in his book, when you go to your original state, which is the state of joy and bliss, you will start to notice miracles in your life. And you will also realize the, the um, grasp you have on your DM is also detaching. So the reason why many of you fail and not get into union or jump backward timelines is because of the fact that you are not able to let go of control. You want to own your divine masculine. You want him to be yours and yours alone. But that's the thing. If you were your DM, would you want that level of freedom being taken away from you? Would you want to to be trapped into this connection by yourself. So in other words, it's imprison, imprisoning your own soul within you. And that's what a lot of human beings are going through. You often, freedom or imprisonment is not outside. It's all, always inter <clears throat> when you give your power away, when you give your power away to the movement, to, to the 3D world, when you are losing your freedom, when you're trapped in the rat race, when you're behaving like the mouse in Who Moved the Cheese, you're giving your freedom away. You're not connecting to God. You're not having faith in God because God is again and again and again, I will say is accessible to everyone. Negative souls choose to disconnect from God. Positive souls are connected to God because that's the choice they make. But everyone is connected to God because we are a speck of God, right? So hence, that's why if you are not in alignment and you, if you give your power away to negativity, to people, like I was watching this um, video that just popped up about <laughs> this guy giving advice saying basically, you know, if someone you love is not messaging you and it's been years, you should just give up. But of course, it applies to the 3D world. So I'm not saying that what he said was wrong. But the truth is, when you're on a twin flame journey, it's completely the reverse. When your divine masculine is not communicating with you, it's because they're truly protecting you. As much as you want to believe the 3D stream of thoughts, which is, you know, he's not interested in you, it's not true. Of course, when someone at a bar tells you, I'm not interested in you, they mean it. But on a twin flame context, when your divine masculine tells you that he's not interested in you, it's utter BS. And every twin flame on a twin flame journey, having had checked that they're on a twin flame journey, will know that everything your divine masculine says is for your own growth and expansion and evolution and transformation. Look at yourself from the moment you have met your twin flame to where you are now, how much transformation you have gone through. Think about how much you've surrendered to God, the universe, to life, to existence, how much you have grown, how you are treating situations in your life very differently from what you used to treat. And think about all of those things that you had, bad habits, and how they've all transformed to, to extremely evolving habits. Right now, when you wake up in the morning, you don't no, no longer have negative thoughts that life is going to be bad. Now you're hopeful. You have developed grace, which is 7D. You have developed hope. You have developed a strong sense of alignment with yourself and the universe. See, like what Karen says, I'm not even the same person. The complete 180 degree turn. Amy says, very true. Jessica, the hardest part is over. And so this is exactly what happens. When you surrender to the journey, you no longer have expectations. And this is when you jump to a higher timeline instead of jumping backwards. So the wounded feminine is going to jump backwards because she's going to be in that state of, I know everything. I am not going to surrender to God. My DM is an asshole because all he does is that talk to other girls on social media. Well, if you are in that 3D mindset, then probably he is going to mirror you and talk to other girls on 
social media. Once you allow him the freedom to do whatever he wants, he's going to come back to you. So this goes back to the, the story about freedom and love that I talk about. So love wanted to trap freedom and freedom wanted freedom. So let's say the free, freedom equates to divine masculine and love equates to divine feminine. So either can't exist without the other. Freedom can't exist without love and love can't exist without freedom. So the divine masculine and divine feminine cannot exist without one another. But because love is always trying to capture freedom and freedom is always trying to run, this describes the whole runner chaser, chaser dynamic. So when the runner stops running, the chaser will stop. But I'm saying it the other way. When the chaser stops chasing, the runner will stop. So you need to create that. As a divine feminine, you have to be so 100% trusting God in this journey and know that God will unite you and just let it, release it to the universe and let God work his magic. And when you come into that state, everything that happens, you're not going to worry about it anymore because you know that, you are a child of God and God is going to take care of you no matter what. And all these NPCs, these karmics, these people who are trying to uh, cross fingers with your DM and dancing on a freaking dance floor, all of this will be just a mere illusion because NPCs have no soul. Some karmics are NPCs too. So you guys can watch the NPC video to understand that there'll be a lot of distractions to your DM when you are in separation, but you cannot allow that to affect your journey by giving that NPC power. So number one, let it go. Whatever your DM is doing, be happy for him. If he's traveling, be happy for him. If he's enjoying life, be happy for him. What you can't do, at least he's doing and he's part of your soul, right? Shouldn't you be happy? So that's why once you start seeing life this way, you're going to jump a higher timeline. And October is when the portal is completely open. I have a couple of healings and activators that will help you with a positive timeline jump, which you can check out on my website as well. All right. So now I'm going to go to the third part of my discourse. How do you prepare for the next jump? Everything I just said the last 20 minutes, complete surrender to God. Stop being distracted by these 3D videos you saw, see in TikTok or Instagram. Of course, you want to be 3D, you take 3D advice. You want to be 5D, take 5D advice. If you, So that's the whole irony, right? Twin flames are like, oh, I'm 5D, I accept the twin flame journey, but then you take 3D advice. So when a, when a 3D person is giving you 3D advice about 3D relationships and you apply it into your 5D journey, it's not going to work. So example, you go to a therapist, they're going to tell you that you have attachment issues, right? But so you have to make a choice. Do you want to be on a spiritual journey or do you want to be on a 3D journey? If you don't make this choice, you're going to jump backwards. So preparation will be surrendering, surrendering. So why don't you create a practice or a ritual? Every morning when you wake up, you say these lines, I thank God for my existence. I thank God that I have met my twin flame in this 3D existence, even though we are multidimensional beings. I love God and I love all the unconditional love God is showering on me and my twin flame. And he's also planning our union in such a grand fashion. Say these lines every day and this will prepare you for a higher timeline jump. So we spoke about the challenges. I've covered that. So what vibration should you be on? If you are anywhere between 5D and above, you'll be fine. You are going to jump a higher timeline, but anything below. So 4D, even if you are on the higher end of 4D, you still have a chance of jumping to a higher timeline. But as a safe bet, if you can vibrate on the soul level, you're definitely jumping a higher timeline. Anything below 5, you're definitely going to regress and you're going to jump backwards. So very simple, scientific, technical. If your vibration is above five, you'll be fine. So if you still have fear lingering in you, then you're going to jump a backward timeline. So who are the ones who are regressing? The wounded feminines, the one who are in a fear state, the one who are in a jealous state, the one who are constantly throwing tantrums and 
constantly questioning the journey and constantly watching those um, <laughs> readings on YouTube, you know, the pick a card and all that, obsessing over, over some kind of a sign, then you're going to jump a timeline backward. Or if you keep questioning the journey, you know, if you keep thinking, what is my DM doing? What is he doing? Is he going to run away? Why is he not talking to me? Why is he not communicating with me? If you're going to keep being in that vibration of 2D, 1D, 2D, 3D, 4D, then you are going to jump backward. Oops, I realized I had spilled my water because I forgot to close it. <laughs> so I'm going to um, read some comments. I feel like I have my moments, but I have grown so much. I've seen our relationship change for the good these last few weeks. Amy. Q, I've been feeling like giving up on my DM. That's the full moon energies. Karen, I love this analysis. I've heard and read this before. My yes came too far to give up now. So that's why, guys, again, the age of conflict, you have all this information available online. And the thing is, our ancients, from the Mayan civilization to the Hindu scriptures, to the Christian text, to the Islamic text, to everything, they talk about the ascension of the human soul. And right now, you know, with the guidance of God and the gifts of God that all of us behold and I'm able to channel for you guys, all of the information is within. So when I enter the Agashic records or the other cosmic libraries, I'm able to channel this information from you you know i don't read except for the sociological concepts that i was talking about earlier in my video all of the other information i channel and that's why i don't have a piece of paper lingering in front of me or anything like that i channel this information because every life is guided by the guidance of god and my higher dimensional teachers my higher self and all of the universe's blessings so hence that's why I always, always advise my clients that you have to read with conscience. In other words, when you read stuff online and or hear stuff online, always ask yourself, ask your higher self, does this information resonate with me? Does this apply with me? But if you are going to be just whining and complaining and being arrogant and putting others down or, or getting a, <laughs> a power hype, or a, what do you call that, a power trip with putting others down, then you're not going to evolve. Because once you don't surrender to the universe and understand that we are all creations of God, then you are going to be in that ego state. And when you are in the ego state, you're going to jump backwards. So for example, I've got, um, I meet clients, right? And some clients are just talking about jumping backwards so what they're saying is actually a sign that they're actually jumping backwards and that's when i transform them and help them jump forwards right so it's the answers are always in what you're saying so for example you keep dwelling in the past you keep thinking that you're going to be hurt or things are going to be the same and this is all's going to happen like the same thing is going to happen over and over again then you're truly not ascending so in a very 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 logical and theoretical way you can't evolve if you don't let go. You're not going to carry your bag of burden when you're trying to evolve, right? So hence, that's why you have to completely, completely surrender. So I'm going to read Jacqueline's comment. I love this talk. I've been jumping and collapsing so many timelines in the last three months after a pivotal event. I'm not even the same person. It's an incredible feeling. Exactly. Nimith, I have stopped chasing. I only attract what is meant for me and my highest good, all in divine timing. Uh, so, so Jessica, so a little exercise would be to, instead of saying, I feel my DM is giving up on me, perhaps you can say is my DM is trying. Or So this advice goes to everyone, you know. If you are confirmed you're on a twin flame journey, all you have to do is get into that, mindset of transforming all of your fears into something more positive so positive affirmations truly truly help so you same thing when you feel like you you want to give up why don't you take a pause 
you know, instead of deciding whether you want to give up or not give up, take a pause and reflect again. All right. So do you guys have any questions about this topic before I move on to our favorite part, which is channeling? All right, Marion, I'm learning to surrender whether we contact or not. Not hearing from you, now hearing from you, Vaish, I'm reflecting to let it go and focus on self-love and all. Exactly. You see, when you start getting into the habit of truly praying to God and surrendering to God and letting your burdens down to God, you will notice that you are being loved. And that is the start of your journey on self-love. When you trust that God will take care of your path and completely release to the universe all of your sorrows, all of your past lives, all of your pain, you will notice this miracle within you, your connection with existence, with the cosmos, with life in itself. So that's what's truly, truly amazing. So that's why step number one, when you develop this relationship with God and each one of us have 100% connection to God in our own way. So you don't have to use a religion. You don't have to use anything. God is equal to everyone. So stop being led by conditionings or human beings telling you to do this and do that. You can connect to God yourself. So having said that, surrender, sacrifice, service to humanity, service to others, service. Take some time off in your day to go water your plants. That is service to the world. Take time off your day to do something that's transforming, creating a program for little children. Nowadays, you can do things online. If, even creating a YouTube video just to inspire other people is service to humanity. Nowadays, you can do it all from your phone. You don't even have to, you know, take a trip to do something. So that's why it's so amazing because life allows us to finally live our dreams. And we are finally in that position to be able to create, transform, transmute, and that's what timeline jumping is about. And once you're aware of how it works, you are able to have that guidance to be able to jump to a higher timeline. But even if you jump a timeline backwards, there's nothing wrong about it too. It just shows that you are not evolving enough and you're just starting over again. So once you develop this mindset that there's no right or wrong and spending more time learning something or uh, repeating a course again or having to do something again or finally fighting for what is right. You see, as long as you can convince yourself and the universe and the world that you're ready, you are ready. But a lot of people don't even believe in themselves. That's why they can't win a case. So, for example, someone is saying that um, your qualification has become stale. So you go to the department and explain to them that, no, it hasn't because you've been applying what you've learned in that last whatever amount of years. But if you trust what they say and don't trust yourself, you're not going to win. But if you're able to persuade them and convince them this is what has happened in your life. So be, don't hold back on telling your story to the right people at the right time. Because a lot of you hold back, hold back on being yourself. So for example, someone is seeing a therapist, if you don't tell the therapist all that you're going through, how will they be able to help you? You know, they are not psychics, you know. As a psychic, I'm able to gauge your issues when you come to me because with the gift of God, with the help of God, I'm able to read your energies. So Ashita has a question. How do we know we have jumped a certain timeline? You will be able to know everything in your situation will change. So for example, if you start meeting your DM more, you know you've jumped a higher timeline. But if you feel like your connection with your DM is like going backwards, then you know you've jumped a timeline back. So this month, this entire month, it's going to be about timeline jumping. So my advice to you would be to just let go and surrender. And of course, I'm introducing a lot of new services. So check out my website. And I would highly, highly recommend to take that 10 session package on the whole Power Up 3D Mind Transformer, because that is really, really going to help you. You can buy it as single sessions too. 
again guys if you really like my work i will really appreciate a tip so this is my paypal they put that in all right amy um it really is just amazing to trust god god completely guided me in my career i'm exhausted but i know where i'm meant to be i was even praying to god to guide the right partner into my life if it is his will whether or not it was my dm then i received a sweet message from my dm it has been a wild few months but god always knows exactly and this is what i'm saying thank you so much amy you wrote it so beautifully thank you so much adriel i really really appreciate your donation and for all of you who have donated you guys are so amazing all your tips help me to spend more time to channel more content um and take more time off my day job all right so um having said that i was going to say that i've introduced a lot of new services so if you guys are interested you guys can book a new service and also i wanted to say uh, i have i'm going to introduce a whole new series of timeline jumping related activators healings um, and i'll start with a promotional price so you guys can check out my website i will update you guys next week as well all right now i'm going to open the floor to some questions with regards to our topic today if not i'm going to start our favorite part of the day which is channeling again i will go in the order of your tips so that i'm fair to everyone and i don't miss out anyone either because there are some of you who tip me but watch this later so right now we have 22 viewers 14 reactions so guys please uh, send in your reaction so that more of you all will be able to watch this video as well so rebecca so if we surrender and want to jump forward a timeline would we manage be able to pull our dm forward as well absolutely so when you are actually jumping a timeline forward in that timeline your dm is already in that state so in other words what is happening is that when you are jumping a timeline your dm is also jumping a timeline with you so you have to understand that often a lot of twin flames are mirroring each other so whenever a D df comes to me and says that oh my dm is wounded my dm is doing this the thing is you are also there are some parts of you that you're healing too so when you're jumping forward your dm is jumping forward too so you're going to meet a new and improved version of him in that timeline so you're letting go of the past and so is he letting go of his older self and jumping to that positive timeline so you're both jumping together actually and uh, often when you are in that state of forward jumping, your DM is also ready because of direct mirroring. So don't worry, Rebecca, all of you guys here will probably jump a higher timeline because you guys are, you know, so devoted in this journey and you all are so surrendering, surrendering, awakening, uh, evolving, completely completely surrendering to everything about this journey and also your devotion to god and god's plans and the trust that everything good will happen so it's truly truly amazing so guys i would really recommend um guys check out my website so this is my website and uh, like i said guys i have introduced a new healing which is I've introduced a couple of new healings and I've also introduced a couple of um, let me see if this link works I've also introduced the 3d mind sessions um, and they're going to be I've created this and it's going to be very trans transformational transformational because of the fact that i'll be using intuitive guidance to guide you on your journey and to structure what you guys got to do so that means i'm going to teach you how to shift from 3d to 5d and that's why if you book the 10 second 10 session package then we can actually work but of course you can book a session at a time too so check that out guys it's um it's a link up here and also before i start channeling do you guys have any more questions before i before i start the channeling again i wanted to thank mj for being so awesome and running this group and being such a great support to all of us oh thank you so much jessica for the tip really really appreciate that sorry i think i missed where you said how we're supposed to tell you 
Um, I, I don't get your question. <laughs> anyway, all of these videos are uploaded on YouTube and they are also on this group. So you guys can re-watch it again. And uh, also, you guys don't have to feel that you guys are... Um, yeah, so I know a lot of y'all watch my videos later. So yeah, so these are the 3D Mind Booster sessions, which you guys can check it out. Um, and I will also recommend the Soul Realignment because that is like the highest and highest of activators, healings, because basically a Soul Realignment is often what you need to be able to kickstart your journey to complete surrender and complete evolution. All right, Samantha, if our DMs fall back a timeline, would that affect us as DF? Often, it's not the case because you are exactly where you are in terms of your DM. So thank you so much, Jen, for the tip. Really, really appreciate that. So often, when you feel like your DM is jumping a timeline backwards, it's something that you haven't healed within you as well. So the moment when you think that they are going back, you are also going back. So it's not like, it's very, very rare where the DM is higher and the DM is lower. It never works that way. It's always happening in perfect alignment because you're one soul. So example, you may think that, hey, I've ascended, I've done all my work, but there's a part that you're missing. So, so that's how it's designed. So, so if you feel like your DM is jumping a timeline, but you are in a higher timeline, what will happen is that no timeline jumping will happen for you and your DM will jump backwards, but will meet you back where you are. So your DM is not going to pull you backwards. So if that was your question, so you don't have to worry. Um, but if you are jumping a higher timeline and often it happens when your DM is ready to. So it's like, with the blessings of God and with divine timing, you're both in alignment. And that's why all of the healings and activators you do also helps your DM. And that's why I highly recommend those union activators because the work that I do affects both of you and actually helps you guys to jump a higher timeline. So I highly recommend that. All right, now it is channeling time. So Annette, <laughs> always being the first. So I'm going to start in order. See, now my nose is itching, <laughs> as always. Okay, so let me see. All right. Annette, what is in store for you as we enter October? So always, Annette, there is great transformation that's going on between you. But recently, I noticed that both of you are fearing change. So that is what comes up right now because you're so close to union right now. It's almost like both of you are trying to sabotage your union because you're both allowing 3D conditionings to affect your journey. But with the blessings of God and with divine guidance from your divine team, something like that won't happen. So when you completely surrender to the universe, you will notice that miracles will happen your way in the next coming weeks. And you're absolutely jumping a forward timeline. So looking into your chakras and your combined energy field, what I note is that there's a lot of gold and pink, which shows higher level guidance that you're receiving from your guidance team. And your DM is going through a massive, massive, massive catharsis. So in other words, it's like, you are helping him ascend because all the unconditional love that you have been sending to him, it's all working its way, including all the activators and the healing. And it's interesting because now your DM is feeling free. He's finally embracing the embodiment of freedom, meaning he's able to make decisions with regards to his personal life where he's able to cut off what he needs to cut off. 
and he's also able to absolutely shift to that place that he wants to be for a long time, which is a, a state whereby he can be himself and he doesn't have to have this false persona for the world anymore. So that's what's really interesting that's happening with your DM is that he's finally feeling this growth within him that for a long time he has been trying his best but unable to quite experience. So he's so used to wearing this facade to live the way society expects him to live. So he couldn't make bold decisions like letting go of his karmic or doing legal decisions in order to terminate a relationship or a contract. But right now he has this strength and this strength comes from the from the blessings of God, from your everlasting love within the twin flame journey. And all of that is creating that movement. So now as you both stand in the forefront of union, you're both having what you call that union anxiety, Ooh. that union based stress because you already know that you're coming to union so you are kind of like worried that uh all right so what is happening is that you are going you are experiencing and at what you call a preparation stress um union preparation stress so in other words because you're so close to union now you're having cold feet which is completely normal and so is your dm so in other words everything is going really really well and also you will know that you're going to experience a lot of miracles and all of life's challenges is going to be just you know this is how the 3d world is so i will say that be ready for a lot of transformation. So the messages I'm getting from your DM's higher self is that he's feeling extremely, extremely, extremely excited about what the future is going to hold. He feels extremely proud of himself for not being trapped in those 3D illusions anymore. And finally, he feels that strength and glory that comes of exercising his freedom so that's what i have for you annette and i hope that message helps and in terms of your chakras they're looking good there's a lot of transformation that's happening in your root chakra so you are ready for change you are ready for utmost growth and evolution and this time when you get into union you know like every other lifetime whenever you get into union this time it's going to be something very very special oh so annette says thank you while i've been meditating i keep seeing gold and pink wow that's amazing that is super 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 amazing all right i am going to go to the next person who tipped me again you guys are amazing right now it's like who comes first <laughs> so next is my and before i jump into your channeling i wanted to recommend these uh, union healing for you guys so basically it's for those who are getting into union and are having a lot of anxiety so this is a divine feminine union preparation healing activator and relaxer so i'll highly recommend this and uh, this is for those who know for sure that you guys are getting into union so I'll, I'll highly recommend this service. Um, and this, again, it's a 21-day activator, and it's very, very, very helpful in your journey. All right, my thank you for your angel number tip. So what I was going to say is that things are manifesting. I feel that you still have a little stress that's going on, which is completely normal. Because whenever we allow the 3D stress to affect us, you will notice a lot of a lot of um you will have a lot of obstacles within your path because you're giving power to these 3d emotions and 3d feelings and the more you dwell and delve into them you will notice that you're attracting more fear in your journey so a big part of this journey is whenever you're feeling down and when you're feeling low you surrender to god 
you put your burdens to God, you put your fears to God and you tell God, you know what, I'm not going to suffer this fear, this state of fear by myself. I am actually going to share this pain with you because God, you're going to guide me. You're going to guide me out of it. You're going to teach me why I'm even feeling this. And that's when transformation starts occurring. So right now, that is the theme that's going on for you, Mai, because you are on the verge of experiencing multidimensional union with your divine masculine. And there is so much that is going on with you that allows you to experience, to expand, and to truly devote time to yourself and the collective consciousness, which is the whole group of Twin Flames, and also your own individually, your own individual energy circle, which is just you and your DM. So my, it's a very interesting period because as you are transforming, your DM is also mirroring you. So there is this massive transformation that is going on between you and now that you're also surrendering to God all of your fears and your doubts your DM is also able to truly truly be real be naked be intimate because he feels that he no longer has to be afraid of the powerful connection he holds with you so my, I would say that you are jumping a higher timeline. So brace yourself, be ready because timeline jumping can be very tiring as well. It's like when you travel on a plane for like 11, 12 hours or even 24 hours, 48 hours of traveling, what do you feel jet like? So think about the jet like timeline jumping courses. So I'll talk more about that in my next um, video, but yeah. So that's why my, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing period. And I will just say that go with the flow because you are on the right track because you're such a beautiful, kind, patient, amazing soul and you have so much to give to the world. And right now I see that you are truly transforming because you're finally loving yourself. And by you loving yourself, your DM is loving himself too. So I actually see a lot of green and purple, which is transformation and wisdom. So that is the theme for you guys for this week. So I've, I hope you enjoyed that channeling. Next up, I have got... Q. All right, Q. Do you have any questions or shall I just do a general channeling for you? So again, Q, don't give up on this journey because you're too precious. Just imagine if you keep up, give up on this journey, what is going to happen to your DM? It's like you are his light. You are his guide. You are, you are really helping him navigate his life from a soul perspective. So if you give up on him, he's going to be alone. So in other words, the messages that I get from your divine masculine's higher self cue is that he wants you to know that he is there for you and he admires you. And he also wants to give you the unconditional love that you give him all the time. And he wants you to know that he acknowledges you, he recognizes you and he wants you to know that he loves you unconditionally, multidimensionally. And if you are ever feeling down or feeling low, he wants you to connect to his 5D self because his 5D self is almost exclusive to you because he's always lingering around you. And he also wants you to know that the pain that you're facing, you're feeling, he's feeling it too. And he wants you to know that it's not going to be a very, very, it's not going to be a very difficult journey because you're both doing work and he's saying that he's also been working on himself and with all of that realization that he holds within himself he's actually mirroring so there's a lot of direct mirroring going on so the colors that I see for you is massively beautiful I see a lot of pink I see a lot of red which means there's going to be a huge root chakra transformation that's going on for you q oh my says thank you so much vice you gave me strength and hope love you and appreciate you so much all right next up i have got rachel rachel are you here if you're here say hi if you have a question i will 
start with your questions as well so guys if you want a reading feel free to send a tip because i'm prioritizing those who have sent me a tip and i'm going in order of when the tip has been sent so here is my paypal link yes rachel is here so rachel do you have a question in particular or shall i just do what i do for the others a general one for you of course <laughs> so here is my paypal so all right what is in store for rachel so rachel again the theme for both of you is oh perfect as i speak you already told me just a general energy check with me and my dear so what is really amazing is that there is what you call a massive moment of transformation that is going to happen in the month of October for you. So as all of these portals are open, it's as though both of you on a multidimensional level are trying to choose an experience, are trying to choose a door trying to choose what you want your life to be because you've been in this journey for such a long time Rachel it's like you are at that stage whereby you want to create what you want to live so that's what your DM is also feeling he wants to create what you both want to experience so there's a lot of choices that's going on at the moment and with the choices it just shows that your divine masculine wants to do so much with you, but he's afraid to take the first step. So often he's looking at you for guidance. You know, he wants you to make the first move. But at the same time, whenever you make a move, he goes back because he does not handle the situation because energetically, whenever you guys get together or there's communication, there's a lot of fire, which is a good thing because fire means transformation and purification. But right now, I feel like he's letting go of his fears. So finally, he's ready to take the next step in your journey. And it's also very, very, very interesting because I feel for a very long time he has been battling with fear and his root chakra has always been very wishy-washy wavy um, in a way that sometimes he will feel more confident and then sometimes he will just feel very shattered but now i for once i actually see stability in his root chakra so i actually see a lot of red red in your connection which is a sign of passion fire transformation choices um, a new timeline that you guys want to jump together that is going to serve both of what you want to experience. So I hope you enjoyed that channeling. And Q says, thank you, Vaish. I've been doubting this, but you always give me hope to not give up. Oh, always, Q. Always a pleasure to read for all of you, my regulars. And Rachel, I hope you enjoyed the channeling. Next up... Oh, Shannon, you actually sent me a tip at 6.11 a.m. Again, Shannon, always such a joy to read for you because you're such a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful soul. And Shannon, what I want to say is that what is in store for you this October and also what is going on with your Divine Masculine? All right, your Divine Masculine is actually going through massive, massive reset. It's as though his whole soul is being realigned and he's finally letting go of things that has been holding him back for a very, very, very long time. So in other words, what is happening with him is that all this while, he's been holding on to certain things that has not been able to allow him to transform in any aspect of his life. And he was always finding, having trouble transforming because of the very fact that he was not able to be himself completely to you. So every time he comes back to you and tries to allow this relationship to work, he does something to self-sabotage. But now with the massive transformation that has been happening with him multidimensionally, he's able to see you for who you are, just like how you are able to see him for who he is. And right now he feels that calmness in that relationship because it has always been about excitement and your relationship together has always been like, like x-ray, you know, like it's not x-ray, you know, that uh, monitor, um, which detects life and death. So it has always been fluctuating up and down. And right now there is calmness, there's stability because finally he's acknowledging the fact 
that what he has with you is very special. Even though he doesn't quite recognize in a 3D way what a twin flame connection is, multidimensionally, he understands that he is half of you and you are half of him. So with that, right now, you will be in for a lot of surprises. Again, he's going to surprise you. And this time, there's going to be stability in your connection because you have also transformed a lot in the last couple of months. You are no longer who you used to be and neither is he who he used to be. So this October is very crucial because you guys are going to jump a new timeline and you have to jump with confidence. You can't, you, when you are jumping the timeline, you can't bring the fears with you. You can't bring insecurities with you. You're going to put it all behind and you're going to jump with grace so that you're able to experience what you came for to earth, to experience unconditional love with your twin flame and ultimate success in all aspects of your life. So Shannon, I hope you have enjoyed um, this channeling. And next up, I will go to, let me take a break. Oh boy. Next up, I have our favorite Diana, who is also a reader for our group and always a joy to read for her as well. So just give me a moment so that I am in order. All right. Again, thanks, Diana, for your angel number tip. You're amazing. I know. And uh, this is a message. Tip jar for the amazing Master Cosmos. So blessed to have an amazing teacher, mentor and friend. Unfortunately, in a meeting all morning and won't be able to join this live today. But you know, I'll be watching the replay. Excited about this topic. Oh, Diana, always excited to have you and train you and to see you evolve and grow as such a beautiful psychic. So what is in store for you and what's happening with W? which is your beautiful DM. So er, again, it's amazing because with October, there is that little chillness between the both of you. So I feel like there was a lot of fire. There was a lot of passion and anger and doubt and stress and fear. And now all of it is transforming into an ocean of calmness. So that is what's happening with your divine masculine. So what is going on right now is that it's that your divine masculine is going through a massive transformation. And finally, he has surrendered to the fact that he is no longer who he used to be. So a major catharsis is going. In other words, what is going on is that he's shedding old skin. He's shedding parts of himself that is no longer serving him. And he is preparing for that conversation that he has been holding back on for a very, very long time. He is, there has been a fluctuating period the last few months where he wanted to reach out, but he was not able to reach out. And that has been going on for a while. In, in a way that every time he wants to speak his heart, he feels that, you know what, this is not the right time because I don't want to say something to offend my divine feminine. So this is what's going on in his mind. But right now he's feeling that boost of calmness. You know, he's like as cool as a cucumber. But he wants to have that conversation in person. So I'm seeing a lot of gold and indigo and green and red in terms of the energetic fields and the colors associated with your energetic fields. So what I'm noting is that he is, the passion has transformed from fiery passion to a very cool kind of passion. So he's very passionate 
but in a very calm way. And this is what both of you have been trying to achieve all these months. So you're both going to jump into a timeline where you're finally able to talk your hearts out without feeling threatened or judged or, or even the pain of past experiences dictating what is going to impact you in your future. So it's going to be an amazing period for you because October is going to be such a beautiful time in your life because it is going to be a time of creation. It's going to be a time of progress. It's going to be a time of living. You're going to finally be able to translate the passion that you have been holding right inside in an external way. So that's what's going on with you and W, Diana. So much, so much is happening. And the messages I have from him to you is that he wants you to know that he is full of, he is in a full of uh, passion mode. So his higher self wants you to know that any conversation that you're going to have with him from now on is going to come from a place of utmost respect, kindness, compassion, love, vulnerability, and at the same time, that true masculine energies are also going to come out. So he's becoming his true warrior self. So Warwick is becoming a warrior. So it's very, very interesting because all this while he has been holding back, but right now he's ready to finally, finally, show show you the man he is capable of being. So I hope you enjoyed that, Diana. So next up, who do I have? Also, let me see if I've missed any comments. Ah, Megan. Megan says, hey, Vaish, it's been a while. Good to finally make it live again. Adriel, I needed to hear that about surrendering and burdens. Thank you. Uh, Megan, looks like I caught the very tail end of this life. Oh, well, I've, I'm happy I made it for a short minute. Oh, you're gone. All right, no worries. Um, okay, I've read my... Ah, okay. Adriel says hi to Frank. Frank says, hey, everyone, blessings to you all. Hey, Frank, blessings to everyone and to you as well. Rachel, amazing, thank you. Frank, thank you for the lives in general and the channeling, Vaish. You're most welcome. Frank, Shannon, thank you, Vaish. I don't know why, but I feel I can be happy and content even if I'm not with him. Oh, that's amazing, Shannon, because you're truly, truly surrendering because you're ascending to the next stage. It's interesting to see how much he changes next time when we meet. Yes, be really excited. Hi, Gerlin. Thank you for your tip. Again, I'm going in order of when I receive the tip. So next up, I have got Rebecca. And then I've got A.P. Wong, and I've got Nimit, I've got Marion, I've got Amy, I've got um, Shay, I've got Adriel, um, let me see, and I've got Stephanie, I have got Lisa, I have got Jennifer, Jessica, Moni, Gerlin, and Frank. So guys, you know, so that I don't miss anyone, I'm going in order. So apologize uh, for those of you, you know, who are patiently waiting for your turn. I just want to be fair to everyone. So I do it in order of the tips at the time I receive. So it's very interesting because now I'm receiving it earlier and earlier. So I was receiving it like um, five, six hours before my show, but Annette beat, beat that too. She sent me a tip 24 hours before my, not 24, I think 30 hours before my show. And then I had my sending me a tip like 12 hours before my show. All right, next up, I have got Rebecca. Oh, beautiful Rebecca. Always, always, always such a joy to read for you because you know what? You are so amazing. So what is going on? So it's very interesting because you are truly transforming and so is your divine masculine. So I see a lot of direct mirroring going on. And I also feel and see that, oh... Um, I also feel and see that there is going to be a great, great, great shift that is happening. So in other words, what I'm actually seeing visually is that 
Rebecca, firstly, your DM is always stalking you on social media. He's always reading through your messages, chat. So, and I also know that he has this inherent fear that you would have moved on. And he just can't accept the fact that you could be with anyone else but him. So I note a certain possessiveness there. And it's interesting because sometimes when you are feeling that way, you're actually feeling his thoughts. But the good news is he has finally decided to surrender to that aspect of himself. And he no longer wants to be in that state whereby he's just stalking you, but he actually wants to appear in your life. He wants to come back and he wants to sweep you off your feet and show you what romanticism is, what vulnerability is, what magic is in a relationship. So that's what's going on right now. So in terms of colors, I see a lot of sacral chakra energies that's being woven into your relationship. So there is a lot of passion. So I'm seeing a lot of solar plexus and sacral. So I'm seeing a lot of orange and yellow that is noting a lot of passion and a lot of confidence in your journey too. Like finally, I feel your DM has accepted that this relationship is unique and he can't be with anyone else, nor is he able to let you go. So in other words, he is going to do everything he can to re-enter your life and actually be normal and be fascinating and be interesting and being the man that you truly deserve. So the messages I am getting, Rebecca, from your Divine Masculine's Higher Self is that he wants you to know that he's trying very, very, very hard. He's doing all he can to become the best version of himself so that he can be the man that you deserve to have. So that you can be courted, you can be treated in such a beautiful way because that's what you deserve. So no more judgment, no more insecurities, no more doubt but magic. And that is exactly the timeline that you're both going to jump into. So all the best, Rebecca. And again, thank you for the angel number tip. All right, so Rachel says, Frank, I can't wait for you to do a live. Absolutely, Frank, I can't wait for you to do a live too. Uh, Adriel sounds like everyone. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, you mean the channeling I was doing? Um, oh, Frank says, thank you, Vaish, for everything you do, Vaish. You are the very best. And I'm so happy we have crossed paths once again. Um, Shannon, it's interesting to see how much he changes. Oh, yeah, I've read that already. All right, next up. I have AP Wong. Okay. Ha, huh, yes, I hear. Frank says, yes, I hear this often. I'm actually going to do one very soon. Oh, stay tuned. Yes, we are all excited for that. All right, what is in store for AP Wong? AP Wong, so connecting to your energies with your divine masculine, a lot of, there's a lot of calmness and there's also a lot of excitement. So it's more like an oxymoron. So there's, there's a lot of sweetness and there's also a lot of bitterness. So in other words, in other words, your divine masculine is feeling this fear that he may not be able to be with you because of his own bitterness towards himself and you in the past. So he's afraid that you will not accept him for who he is. So he keeps on putting up this false front, this false facade, and completely not showing who he is or his true colors. So in other words, he is just showing one aspect of himself and not showing who he really is and he wants to do so much for you yet he's not able to because he's stuck in his own mind and all the mind games that he's playing with himself and you you see this is how he sees you ap wong he sees you as this really kind and compassionate and loving and and a very, very sweet person. 
and he feels that he doesn't deserve you because he feels that he is ugly he's not good enough so often he projects this on himself and you so in other words he feels all this bitterness about himself and this has been happening for a very very long time and with that there's also this moment where he he wants to transform he wants to change and he wants to do everything he can in his path to accommodate the future that he knows that you're both going to have so despite all that he's feeling he knows that both of you have a future together but how is he going to get there he doesn't know so now as i'm pulling the energies towards you what i am seeing is that there is a part of you that is still afraid, afraid of the journey, afraid of life, afraid of existence, afraid of transformation. Even though you are transforming, there is a part of you from your past lives, past lives that's holding you back from seeing your full potential. So with both of that happening and the whole timeline jumping, you're both ready for a timeline jump forward. And this is going to be a very interesting timeline jump because you're going to know that your DM's old habits are not going to, to repeat. It's like he's preparing for this timeline jump on a subconscious multidimensional way that the next time he enters your life, he wants to show another part of himself. He wants to show that He's no longer a bitter person. He's actually a very sweet, romantic, kind, freedom-loving, unconditional love-loving kind of person. He wants to actually mirror you, mirror you, so mirror you. So in other words, when you guys go through that timeline jump, you will notice this immense shift. And that's what you're preparing for, A.P. Wong. And it's amazing because once you actually get to that state, which will happen anytime in October, you will notice that that fear that you have been holding back on your past life is no longer going to affect you anymore. And having said that, the colors that I see is gold, green, and yellow, which means that your identity is being shaped. Your combined identity towards the world and the universe is shifting. So how you're going to appear towards each other is going to massively change too. You're going to see vulnerable parts of him and he's going to see imperfect parts of you and finally realize that he has been putting you up on a pedestal and you have been also putting him up on the pedestal and you're going to ex um, you're going to accept and experience the imperfect perfections that you both are ready to show to one another. So in other words, it's going to be the beginning of a very, very soul-changing, soul-inspiring, soul-exploring journey that's a hit, a hit for you, AP Wong. I hope you enjoyed that channeling. Uh, next up, I have Nimith. So Nimit says, hi Vaish, love your work. This is a birthday month for SPJ, uh, 9th of October and myself, 10th of October. Oh, wow. It's amazing. Like you are on like 10, 10 Nimit and uh, SPJ, you are, SPJ, your DF is on 9, 10. So it's amazing because 9 and 10 are such beautiful numbers. So what do I have in store for you? All right, before I start, I'm going to read... Oh, Michelle, good to see you. Dang, I thought I missed you. But you know what? I'm still here, Rebecca. Oh, that just melted my heart. I'm glad we are moving into the more normal zone and that he's realizing more. Thanks, love. Oh, Stephanie is 10, 10 as well. We've got all the October babies and uh, so is MJ. Uh, MJ's birthday is coming up as well. Amazing. I have 17 viewers, 77 comments and 17 reactions. Wow. That is so beautiful. That I'm going to take a screenshot. <laughs> All right. So Nimit, what is in store for you again? Thank you for the angel number tip. So again, uh, SPJ is re-evaluating her life. So right now she is thinking about all of the things that she has done in her life so far and thinking that she wants to settle down. And she is also thinking about the fact that that 
she can no longer linger around because she wants to be in a relationship and completely surrender to the fact that only you will be able to give her what she is looking for. So finally, I feel like your energies are matching and you guys are on the verge of truly expanding and growing and building your combined future. So with this month of timeline jumping, you guys are going to jump into a timeline of stability and excitement and exploring new frontiers. So I'm seeing a lot of red. So I'm seeing that finally SPJ's root chakra is becoming stable and she's no longer jumping here and then. She actually wants stability. She's finally desiring and craving stability, which shows that with this timeline jump, things are going to create a magical, magical, magical situation for you both. So finally, I will see, I actually foresee you both tasting the beauty of your very unique twin flame connection. So that's amazing. So as you're going to celebrate your birthdays, again, Nimit, advanced birthday wishes to you and your divine feminine. You're going to have a lot of surprises that's coming your way. All right, so with that, I'm going to say that in terms of your chakras, Nimit, what is looking good for you is that your throat chakra and your crown chakra is going through a massive expansion and activation. With SPJ, there is this solar plexus transformation that is taking place. So she's going to be more true to her identity on Earth. So that's a good sign. So all the best to the both of you. So Michelle says, was coming in um, to watch the video and you're still going on. I'm going to go back, back it up and watch. I hope everyone gets an amazing channel, channeling from our beautiful Vaishnavi Pan and all. Thank you so much, Michelle. Adriel, early happy birthday, MJ. Aww. Next up, I have Marion. I'm just going to read the order again. So I've got Marion, I've got Amy, I have got... Shay, I have got Adriel, I have got Lisa, I've got Stephanie, I have got Jennifer, I've got Jessica, I've got Moni, I've got Jerlyn, and I've got Frank. So if you guys want a channeling, feel free to leave a tip as well. Uh, my PayPal is on top. So next up. Who do I have? Marion! Oh boy, always, always, always such a joy to read for you, Marion. It's always. Your faith, your relationship with God is truly, truly amazing. I feel that that state of surrender and that um, faith you have towards God and the journey and how both you and your divine masculine are direct mirroring. And it's so amazing because of the fact that you're both very, very God loving beings. And again, you know, you're one soul split into two. So that is only normal for both of you to have that connection with God in such a profound level. So having said that, what is going on with your energies? So energetically, a lot of transformation. I'm seeing a lot of gold, violet, green, and silver and pink threads moving into your relationship. So that shows massive, massive integration, upgrades, activation, and soul transformation within your combined energy field. So that looks very, very promising. So be ready for a lot of wisdom coming in from your higher dimensional teachers and your angels. Next up, I also see this yearning from your divine masculine to share a larger aspect of his life with you. And for that to happen, he feels that things has to rearrange itself. He feels that there are certain obstacles and challenges on both of your uh, lives from your family members, which he feels that needs to come to a rest before you guys can unite in a unconditional, multidimensional and a 3D physical way. So the messages I actually have from your divine masculine is that 
he's saying that he's very ready to start an amazing relationship with you. And he also wants you to know that as much as he's ready, he knows that both of you still have certain things that you have to do with your own individual families before you can have that physical 3D union without having any kind of guilt. So I'm noticing a lot of guilt that is coming out from your divine masculine. So he wants you to know that he feels a lot of guilt, that he doesn't want to come in and disrupt your life because he sees you as this very special person filled with light, filled with joy, filled with glory, and filled with patience and calmness and transformation. He sees that you have such a beautiful family and often he feels guilty to come and take that magic away. But at the same time, he knows that you're not happy as well. And he knows that the love you have towards him is the only love that is truly real. That unconditional, romantic, transformational twin flame love. And he wants you to know that he reciprocates it 100%. But he feels that the divine, God knows the right timing when you're both going to unite. And he's in full surrender to that state right now. And Marion, the messages that I'm getting from the angels are that you are perfect. You're perfectly in alignment. And things are going amazingly in the direction that you have both been hoping for. So in terms of timeline jumping, I see you guys jumping into a creative timeline. So you're going to jump into a timeline where you're going to be free of your burdens. You're going to be free of your obstacles. So in other words, you're going to finally be able to unite without the 3D emotions or 2D emotions. You're finally going to have that 5D, 6D, 7D kind of connection. So you're going to have 3D physical union plus multi-dimensional inspiration woven into your connection. So that's what I have for you, Marian. And it's so much, there's so much joy, so much excitement, so much prospect. So in other words, life is weaving, is weaving this beautiful timeline for you. And that is because of the devotion that sacrifice, that that faith you have towards God and you're being protected, you're being taken care of. In other words, all of your guidance teams, your angels, God, everyone is like applauding to the amazing, amazing transformation that you have been going through. And your DM is more and more amazed at how beautiful you're becoming. Also, in terms of the career front, new opportunities are coming your way. More and more new opportunities will come your way. There is going to also be a great amount of choices being put in front of you. So you're finally going to get opportunities that allow you to be more free. And that is going to be the theme for you this month. A lot of freedom, yet there are going to be a lot of choices that you're going to make that is going to amplify the freedom next level. I hope you have enjoyed this channeling, Marion. And next up, I've got Amy. Before that, Nimit says, thank you so much, Vaish, as always. I love and I appreciate your you and your work all. You're most welcome, Nimit. Becca, wow, I'm a different Becca, but this may be for me too. I felt it all. Oh, that's amazing. So, Amy, what's up? What's going on for you? So Amy, 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 so you are going to be in for a lot of surprises. Number one, the most beautiful thing that's going to happen to you in October is that you're going to be surprised with vulnerability. So your divine mas masculine is going to show a part of himself that he has never shown you before. And this is going to be very crucial in your twin flame journey because all this while he has been afraid to show that vulnerability to you and that vulner vulnerability comes from that state of unconditional love so in other words your divine masculine is able to express himself freely 100 percent, both energetically multi-dimensionally and physically so there's all these 
romance going on between you and as much as you're experiencing the 3d level romance there's also a lot of soul growth and expansion so in other words you're finally surrendering and releasing a lot of things that are not serving you which will stabilize your connection further and with that you will be jumping into a better timeline because you have surrendered but of course there's certain obstacles that's allowing you that is not allowing you from living off the best version of what your life can be so it is time to shed that away and let go of things that's pulling you down or energies that are pulling you down your surroundings maybe i'm 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 seeing there are certain obstacles on your way, which once you completely surrender to, nothing can stop you. So fully surrender to God, fully, fully, fully express what you want to see in your life in terms of your twin flame relationship, and you will see the massive transformation coming your way. So I'm seeing a lot of root chakra movement, and for your DM, a lot of solar plexus energy upgrades because he's finally going to show himself that he's been holding back for a long time so all the best to you amy and ending your channeling your dm wants you to know that oh he finds you extremely extremely sexy angelic full of beauty and expression and love and he can't wait to grow his future with you all right next up i have got Shay, oh my favorite Martian twin flame. So Shay wants you, Shay, your DM wants you to know that he is very, very eager for a lot of transformation that is going to take place. And the transformation from his own words are that he is tired of the relationship being stagnant and of course he admits and acknowledges the fact that it was his fault the stagnancy was created because he was not ready for this high vibrational relationship yet and now that he is being given more and more and more support and he's being given more and more and more guidance from his own divine guidance team, he's finally able to see things that he has not been able to see for a very long time. And in other words, he's able to see how much of an impact you have created in his life, both subconsciously and consciously. So in other words, he is ready to be fully vulnerable to you, fully open to you, and he's ready to take the next leap in the journey. So you guys are also going to quantum jump into a new universe, a new dimension, a new experience in life. So you're going to see massive transformation, in other words. And for after a very long time, your DM is actually ready for that transformation. So it's looking extremely well, uh, Shay. Again, my favorite Martian star seeds. You guys are filled with righteousness and hope and service and sacrifice. So all the best to the both of you. So next up, I have got Stephanie. Again, uh, the tip you've sent me is your birthday, <laughs> which is amazing. Again, angel numbers. So what is in store for you, Stephanie? So Stephanie, a lot of magic is happening for you. And what kind of magic all the obstacles all the challenges everything that has been put on your way is a test from god a god um a test from god god is trying to tell you that everything that he has put on your path is for your own strength of character in other words he's showing you how powerful you are how strong you are and as your psychic abilities are being activated further is just showing that you can handle so much more but you're also being guided by the universe and you're also being rewarded by the universe in other words your angel team wants you to know that you are ready for the next step in your connection with your twin flame so your twin flame she is ready to expand evolve and grow with you so be ready for surprises so she might connect with you multidimensionally. She may connect with you physically. So be open to everything. In terms of challenges, this entire year has been 
challenges after challenges. So God wants you to know that after the storm, there's going to be calm. So the next couple of months are going to be calmer. Your challenges are going to receive solutions. You're going to get answers to what your mind has been pondering for a very long time. So the message I'm getting from your twin flame is that she wants you to know that as much that she's not able to, she's not able to, um, sorry, I just was reading MJ's message there. So again, as much as she's not able to support you on a 3D level, she's still able to give you all that unconditional love from a multi-dimensional level. So that is what's going on with you right now. Massive, massive, massive transformation. And also you are being rewarded for your patience, your grace, your kindness, uh, for all that you've been doing your entire life. And all of that you've been doing your past lives through all the services, the missions that you've been on, everything is being recognized and acknowledged. So the next couple of years is going to be magic on earth. I hope you enjoyed that. All right. So I have got Adriel. Oh boy, I'm going to take a break. Oh, MJ, good to see you. I was wondering where you were. <laughs> All right, what is in store for Adriel? Before that, I just wanted to say this is MJ's birthday month. So guys, wish MJ happy birthday. We're going to wish her every day. Um, Stephanie says, I feel it. The calm has been moving in the last few weeks. Thank you so much. So, Adriel, what is going on for you and what do you have in store this coming month and what is happening energetically? So, Adriel, what is going on is very crucial. So, right now, you are at that stage whereby you are experiencing an entire shift in not only your consciousness, but in your ability to transcend and navigate through 3D, 4D, 5D, 6D. And I'm also witnessing that you're able to connect to a part of 7D as well. So it's an amazing period for you because this period is devoted for your soul transformation. And all the activations that are taking place is transforming you and your divine masculine to a point whereby you are ready for your mission. So in other words, your missions are being activated. And in other words, because your missions are being activated, you're going to feel more empowered in your day-to-day -day life. So you're shift day-to-day -day life. So you're shifting from a state of soul answers and soul yearning and soul exploration to a period of mission, pursuing your mission and being able to deliver what you have been hoping to deliver to 3D Earth. So in other words, your divine masculine is also direct mirroring you. And he's also feeling that massive transformation that is going on between the both of you that is helping you guys to elevate your consciousness to the next level. So having said that, a big part of your journey is to understand that everything is happening for a reason. And the messages that I'm getting from your divine masculine is that he wants you to know that he has so much to deal with in his 3D life. And he wants to deal with all of that before he comes back to you so that he's able to fully give himself to you. Because he has not been able to be himself completely for a very long time because of his own personal challenges. But he wants you to know that it's shifting and changing. And as you guys are going to jump to a higher timeline, things are going to massively explode into pockets of joy. So that's what I have for you, Adriel. All the best. And next up, I have got Lisa. So Lisa says, Hi, Vaish. I would love to know how Brandon's day was today and any insight on his 3D thoughts of his would be lovely. Miss him 
miss him something awful today thank you all oh, lisa i'm so sorry to hear that um i am extremely sorry that you had to go through something awful uh firstly i would say that um brendan's energies is pretty rattled so there's a lot going on with him so there's a lot of direct mirroring going on between you and i'm also noting that there's a lot of anxiety with brendan he's very anxious about a lot of things work life um, family there's a lot like, there's something that he's not able to solve and hence it's rattling him a lot and you are feeling what he's feeling so i'm noticing a lot of anxiousness and pain and there's a bit of suffering there and i feel that's what you are feeling so the messages that i'm getting from his 3d self is that he wants you to know that he will be okay but yet he's struggling and he's depressed and he doesn't want to burden you with his pain and troubles because he feels like they're unsolvable problems that are being thrown to him at the moment and he is trying his best to surrender to life and existence and god as much as he wouldn't admit but he does pray to god he wants you to know that he does he's at a state whereby he's trying to he's trying to surrender because he can't find solutions to his problems so i feel a lot of instability in the root and um, crown and sacral chakras at the moment but don't worry things will get better so lisa your angels wants you to know this could be a testing period but things will get better most importantly don't give up hope um, as you guys are meant to be on this journey and you're fully guided and supported by god and good things will happen right now things may look challenging but this is just one of the setbacks but you are going to have many surprises coming your way this month i hope you've enjoyed that channeling next up i have got jennifer okay so i've got jennifer jessica Moni, gerlin and frank all right Oh, you guys are so lovely. Everyone says wish to happy birthday to MJ. And I would, I would love to wish MJ too. So I just want to wish you, MJ, happy birthday. Thank you for all that you do for us and for running this group with so much joy and so much expertise and love and, and unconditional guidance. You are the best. So just wanted to thank MJ for being awesome as always. So Adriel says that that was amazing. Thank you so much, Parish. I can't wait for my Jamie to finally be able to breathe and be himself. He deserves it. And wow, looking forward to this massive flip. Thrills and chills. Jen, I would love... Okay. All right. So let me... Jen. Okay. So Jennifer has got a question. Hmm. Hi, I would love a general for my DM and I. So Jennifer, what is going on? Thank you for the angel number tip. So what is going on with you and your DM? So what is going on is that there is a lot of expression on a multidimensional level. There is a lot of expansion that is happening between the both of you as well there's what you call that soul changing expansion in other words what is happening to both of you is that a lot of activations are taking place simultaneously which is preparing you for your soul mission which is expressing unconditional love on earth and to create that vibrational spectrum for other twin flames and for the collective to experience that protection so you are one of those rare twin flames who are helping with the protection in terms of protecting the unconditional love twin flames bring about to earth so that is one of your missions next up what i have is that the messages that i'm getting from your person is that he wants you to know that he loves you a lot and that things are that things are changing between the both of you 
But of course, due to all these missions that is taking place, that sometimes life can look like it's fluctuating, but it's actually part of the mission. Also, everything that is happening on your path is divinely guided and you are constantly being watched over by God. So in other words, whenever you're feeling down or you're feeling like you're struggling, just surrender to God, talk to God and remember that you're on earth for a purpose and the purpose is going to give you the motivation and excitement you need to survive on this journey. And the messages I am getting from your DM is that he wants you to know that Love is all there is and that he will do anything he can to make you feel better because you're such a wonderful person to be with and he can never express his love in a 3D way because your love is multidimensional and that you guys are jumping into a better timeline because of your love and devotion towards this journey and your missions as well. All right, next up, um, Jennifer, I hope you have enjoyed the channeling. Rachel, I'm looking forward to the leap too. I feel like my ego tries to discourage me, but I am going to actively try to be positive and be in the higher vibration. Moni says, happy birthday, beautiful MJ. I hope it's wonderful. All right. Oh, Jessica. Next up, I'm doing Jessica. Jessica, if you are here, do you have any questions or do you just want a general reading? So I've got Jessica, Moni, Jarlan and Frank. All right, so, oh, Jessica, yes, I'm here. It's my first live. Um, I'm really excited. For me, just a general reading for my DM and I, but I would like to know what the best way I can be here for him right now. Jen says, thank you so much. As always, beautiful wife. Oh, you're most welcome, Jen. All right, so I'm going to start on your reading, Jessica. So what is in store for you and your beautiful person? So the theme of your connection itself is beauty. There's so much beauty and grace and what you call potential. It's like you both came to earth for the very purpose of experiencing what you couldn't experience in the other dimensions in other planets so you're both star seeds and you have come to earth for that very purpose of experiencing 3d density as much as you may be changing your mind right now but that is what your souls desire so having said that the messages i'm getting from your person is that don't give up on the journey don't give up on each other and also don't give up on the soul mission that you have both been entrusted with in other words, as part of you wanted to experience and study Earth, it's also part of your soul mission to study Earth. Because you're bringing all of this feedback to the higher dimension so as they can send more support to Earth. So your role on Earth is to anchor divine love and also to study how the 3D world works. So sometimes if you're being affected by 3D energies, it's actually part of the mission you came to earth so it's it's pretty exciting in that way jessica so you probably feel it on a soul level that you are here for a much wider reason that you would have ever thought in your life and and that's why it's 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 a very crucial period in your life right now because the journey between you and your person is meant to show you the beautiful things that Earth has to offer despite the fact that it's 3D. So you're both studying to understand what the 3D world is and you have been here for a very long time. Both of you have been here for at least 500 lifetimes and the studying goes on. And every time there is stagnation or no progress, what happens in your journey is that you go to soul space, you rest for a bit and continue your mission. And it's very interesting because both of you have never given up on your journey from the first lifetime you had on earth to right now 500 lifetimes later you still have that same excitement and momentum to want to serve and to experience and to enjoy life so that's what i have for you uh, jessica and um, i hope you have enjoyed the reading and i just want you to know that uh, the messages that I'm getting from your better half is that he wants you to know that 
whatever it is you guys will achieve experience and enjoy and that you have to believe in the love of god and the universe and the mission and the galactic council because your whole team is there to support you and that's what your person wants you to know and with that i'm going to go to the next person which is moni wow it has been a while moni since i read for you so moni's question is what's in store for moni and eric for october so all right so what does your person have to say for you so um eric wants you to know that he is struggling he's always struggling but he wants you to know that he's coming out of his shell and he no longer wants to let whole habits dictate his dictate his life so in other words your person wants you to know that he is not going to be entrapped by his own inner challenges and the time has come for him to flourish and expand and also shift so you may notice positive changes in him when you bump into him at the workplace and you will also see that he may be fluctuating but that is a sign of evolution and growth so in other words what is going on right now is that despite the fact that he has got all these inner challenges that he's facing he also wants to allow love into his life so that's why october is going to be a transformational month for you moni but it's also going to be a month filled with challenges so in other words what is going to happen is that you're going to be tested before you jump into a better timeline so you're going to have all these obstacles that is preventing you from progressing but at the same time your unwavering faith towards god is going to help you jump to a more positive timeline so that's what's going on for you moni that as despite all the challenges being thrown on your path magic and miracles are going to happen with the blessings of god because of your true true devotion towards the journey and uh, the messages i am getting from your dm is that he wants you to know that he may be filled with flaws but his love for you is unconditional and no matter what happens in his life he's going to keep on doing what he can to make things better for you both so despite the fact that there's so much going on he will still do what he can to make your experience on earth better so all the best to you moni and i have got jerlyn and frank so jerlyn this question is hi vaish can you do a channeling for me and ryan thanks of course always a joy to read for you jerlyn because you're such an amazing soul always always guys if you are interested in a private service feel free to visit my website i've added a lot of new services especially for those of you who are nearing union i've introduced a very special divine feminine union preparation healing activator and relaxer for th so those of you are having cold feet this is the activator for you and i've also introduced the 3D mind booster sessions which I have developed and I feel it's very necessary right now especially with all the challenges that is going on all right so Jarlan what is in store for you so Jarlan what is happening I hope I'm pronouncing your name right I feel like I'm always not pronouncing your name right so Jarlan what is happening is that your divine masculine wants you to know that he is more than ready to start a life with you but he's afraid of his obligation he has with his family because he is in an environment that is filled with 2D and 1D vibrations so in other words they are always pulling him down as much as he wants to stay up 
and vibrate higher, he's always being pulled down and he's sick and tired of it. He feels like you are the light at the end of the tunnel. So you represent hope and grace for him. And he's always, always, always walking towards that state whereby he wants to be with you and he wants to live a life with you. He wants to experience all of what life has to offer with you. Yet he's afraid because to him, he puts you up in a pedestal and you are full of potential grace, love and, and magic. He doesn't want to pull you down with him. So he often does that because he feels that you being with him will be beneficial to him, but not the other way around. So hence, that's why he fluctuates. But because October is a month of timeline jumping, his soul is finally ready to take that quantum leap with you and to jump another timeline. A timeline where he's not burdened by his 3D family anymore and a timeline where he has the courage and confidence to do what he can to bring this relationship to the next level. So what I am channeling from his thoughts is that despite everything that life has been throwing on him his entire life he's finally ready to fully fully expand and express his true desires to you so he's willing to show that vulnerability and that vulnerability is going to be from a very very potent place of being a divine masculine so one of the divine masculine traits is actually vulnerability being vulnerable to his divine feminine and finally he's ready ryan is ready to show you that gerlin and so my advice to you will be be ready be open and your chakras are looking really good uh, a bit of work has to be done with the solar plexus but that is also because of all the challenges that you have in your life. But besides that, you are transforming in a magically rapid rate and all good things may befall you because you are amazing. And I hope you have enjoyed that channeling. Uh, Moni says, thank you, V, my lovely Pisces. God bless you, millions. Oh, thank you, Moni. Bless you a million, million, million times too. God bless you a million, million times too. Frank says, Vaish is the very best reader, healer, and teacher, and I highly recommend any and all of her services that you're really called to, especially the soul realignment. Oh, thank you, Frank. I would highly recommend the soul realignment because that really, really helps you to reset your journey. And having said that, Frank, it's time for your channeling, my last channeling for the day. And again, thanks for that angel number tip. And guys, if you guys want a channeling, feel free to send a tip. Um, or if not, Frank, my favorite, favorite student, and you are such a star. And, you know, Frank has an amazing promotion going on with the Andromeda healing that I've been teaching him. So, guys, don't miss that up. It's up there on the page. So, you guys should try it out. Frank and I have been training for a long time and it's been such a pleasure for me to teach him, to see him recognize his own potential of how he has been a healer for many many lifetimes and he's got great potential so you guys should try that out because what frank has is very unique he has this unique edge because he's a divine masculine so with that frank what is in store for you this october again massive timeline jump for you you are going to jump like 10 20 times more than your present vibration so you are going to be a miracle attractor so in other words you will also notice this massive transformation with your divine feminine because she is no longer going to be carried away by the 3d notions of life so like right now it's another message that i'm getting from god is that you are being activated for a soul level mission and this mission is going to transform both of your lives because your service towards earth is going to expand tenfold so you're going to guide and help a lot more people and a lot more people are going to cross your path and 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 uh, in this is also a period of immense change in the way you have been doing things so you're going to have these additional superpowers that you're going to be unlocked to and i 
so privileged and it's such a joy teaching you and being able to teach you all that I know again with uh, God's guidance because all of our gifts are from God and we are always sent to the right people at the right time. So as I thank my teachers every day and I'm so grateful to have amazing students too and Frank is one of them and I have to say that Frank, you are going to be activated to more and more of your gifts. So messages from your DF is that she wants you to go live up to your potential and she's so proud of you because she feels you multidimensionally and she has been doing a lot of work on herself as well. So there's a lot of direct mirroring that's going on and her higher self is also providing guidance to the both of you just as your higher self is providing guidance to the both of you. So that is a beautiful alchemical transformation so you are actually transforming to uh, the diamond version of yourself so in other words you're activating to live your fullest potential and opportunities are going to come your way you're going to be surprised with a lot of magic as well so I hope you have enjoyed that Frank and I am so proud of being your friend your teacher your mentor and thank you for your beautiful beautiful participation in all the classes i've had with you so far and i'm looking forward to more and i thank god every day for having had great teachers and for having great students too so guys if you are interested in signing up for a course you can take a look at the courses options on my website and i'm ready to take in more new students this month because i'm going to devote more time to teaching so i'm going to Put the link here so if you guys are interested in a course you guys can check it out and uh, i will be able to customize the courses according to your learning needs so feel free to have a chat with me and uh, also i think i've done my channeling for everyone who have donated uh, tipped and these are my courses oh you're most welcome frank such a joy always and again you know Frank has got amazing promotions, so has Diana. All of my students have amazing promotions out there on the website. Guys, do check out our albums and also our websites and also the wall, the space. And if you guys want a free reading, feel free to request the reader. You can request me. You can, example, you want, you can request Frank or Diana or anybody. And then uh, MJ will assign you to them. Again, um, connection checks are done in the group, so you can always request for a reading, and they're always double check, triple check by me. I always do that so that we're all, you know, giving you the best guidance out there. So we work really well together. So I want to say kudos to our team. We are so happy to bring you great readings, great lives, and thank you, MJ, for running this wonderful group and i'm so privileged to assist you and again it's your birthday month so happy birthday with that guys take care love you all and i'll talk to you all soon uh, bye bye see you all next week with a much more interesting topic thank you and bye bye